Hello chaps, how's it going? Um, so I've been called to the swatch, I was doing the maintenance and then they said oh their beer chill has gone down. Look all that beer. And um, basically it was off, there was no power. They said they've had problems with it before. So I had a look and I had to replace the fuse. Um, so I, as soon as I changed it, got it going again, it was working, but it made me think why did the fuse be on? And just thinking, I thought, well, I'll check the condenser, because maybe the compressors were working really, really hard. So I checked the, checked the condensers, and as you can see, like, from the angle, from just by looking at them, they don't look that bad. Obviously this top bit I didn't see until I put it in But as soon as you look at the inside, as soon as you look at the inside, I can't really tell. It's pretty, pretty bad, you can tell on the top that it's not been done for a while. So I thought that looked pretty mighty. And then what I did was here, is I put, um, put a sensor on, this is straight from the compressor, so it's really hot. So it's showing um, 68, and then this is at the bottom of the. Uh, so that's going in, that's the pipe going in, and then this is the pipe coming out. And I felt it; it's quite warm. And the pipe going in is uh, 68, and the pipe coming out is 36. So there's a difference there of 34, which I don't think is very good. And um, I stepped this unit on 20 minutes ago. It's set for, for 8 and it's only come down to 9.7 and it's struggling to come down so I am going to give this a good clean with my uh, hoover there and I've got my little squirt gun there so um, I'm going to give it a good clean and then I'll hopefully come back and have some good results at the end I'm going to get both of them so yeah we'll see what the outcome is and what happens so, cleaning a dirty condenser, hopefully we'll do the job, make this thing come down, and everybody's happy. Okay, so I'm halfway through. I've done one coil and I still need to do that one. So I'm just going to compare. This is the one I've done. And it's looking pretty good. There's still little, little, like tiny bits in there, but it was so much better than it was before. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. I will sort this out and I'll get my screwdriver because I haven't got all those fancy gadgets that could do it. But, um, it's looking good now. Let's look at me. What it, what it used to look like. Can't even see through it. So that's what it was like. <coughs> so even though the coil looks fairly clean from the outside, when you look a little bit deeper, it's blocked. And that is why compressors die. And that is why you've got to check them. Just checking the, the face doesn't mean nothing. You've got to look deep inside to see. So I'm going to clean this one up. Um, I had to use nitrogen. Because it was, I, I soaked it, but then kind of the dirt turns to like this mush and it still was stuck in the middle. So I checked it before and oh, now it's still there. So got good old nitrogen out. And that really blew it out. The reason why I'm not using nitrogen now is obviously dust. If I come in the superstore, dust would get absolutely everywhere. So. It's a lot of work because you spend half your time cleaning up after yourself, but the results are going to be there. Right, back on to number two. Okay, so we're nearly done on this beer fridge. Um, clean both condensers, give them a very good clean. Um, I used two bottles of nitrogen to really kind of get in there and clean it. But uh, they're looking good. Um, I turned this on about 15 minutes ago. 
we're down to 8.8, .8, so he's slowly coming down. Much better than earlier when he went even come down to 10. But I got to 10, about 9.9, .9, and then it just didn't like it. The biggest thing though is um, temperature from the coil. So we've got about 63 going into the coil, and then coming out, we've got about 27. I think that's about 10 degrees difference. So the difference overall. Under 40, 37, but you know that is much better. That's going in, that's going out, and that is much lower than it was. I think it was about 35 going in. So we've just by cleaning that, we've um, helped it by 10 degrees, which is a big difference. Um, so soon this will click out. These are set for eight because it's only a, a beer, a beer fridge, and it's quite, you know, it's cold when you feel it, so it doesn't need to be that low. And the amount of energy they save um, just by setting it to eight or so six or something like that, so it's pretty big. So yeah, so overall, just speculating now. I think it, I think the fuse went because this thing didn't turn off. I reckon it was working and working and working, and it just eventually some had to give, and the fuse went, took it out. So I'm hoping that uh, chops are good. So, hope you've enjoyed my video. If you want to subscribe, so now I'm doing a good job. Feel free. Right. Tell our boys.